Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I'm filming this from the offices in Texas, so we're super excited uh, visiting the team here. So hi to every Texan listening to this. And usually, as you know, I'm in New York, but today I've been traveling a lot. I was in uh, California and now I'm in Texas here for a few days. But first of all, I wanna welcome everyone here. These videos are exclusive videos for our clients and subscribers here in the Finhabits app. And for those who have not met me, I'm Carlos Garcia, I'm the CEO and founder of Inhabits. And today I wanna to discuss a very important topic that sometimes we forget about it. And the topic today is how can you improve your credit score? But why the credit score, you might ask, right? Well, we're here about, everyone here in Finhabits, it's, it's here because we wanna build wealth. We want to build wealth for our families, for our future and Forgetting about your credit score, it's such an important mistake that I thought I could just create a video just discussing that. And what I wanna to do today is run you through all the different things that are important in your credit score and then try to give you some advice and tips on how to improve these, each of these items. Um, if you don't know, right, you probably already know, but every time you go and get a loan, every time, sometimes in different states when you apply for auto insurance, uh, even sometimes when you apply for jobs, they ask you about this credit score. So it's like, it's like a, a number that, that is with you for the rest of your life. And what we want is to get this number as high as possible. But if you're new to the credit scores, right, it also helps to understand how do you build that number up, even if you start at the bottom. So the first thing, let me explain, what are the different parts that the three different credit bureaus look at to define your score? So I'm gonna go from the most important to the least important, but all of them have to be in your head and you always have to be working to improve each of these ones, right? But the first thing that it's important, and that corresponds to 35% of the weight, is your payment history. Your payment history means that you have to be paying your credit cards, your auto loans, your mortgages on time, all the time. The payment history is the most important weight in the credit score because it's 35%. The second most important uh, weight in the credit score is your credit utilization. And that means that if you, for example, have a credit card and the credit card has a, a limit of $5,000. If you're using $5,000 in your card on purchases, then you are at a 100% utilization rate. You have to be really careful not to go above 30%. Yes, 30% is the max. So if you have a credit card that gives you $5,000, uh, that means that you should never use it for more than $1,500. And that seems a little bit uh, weird because why would you get 5,000? Well, it's important to understand that cre credit utilization has to be below 30% and that also corresponds to 30% of your score. The next one, the next topic that is important in your credit score is the average age of your credit. So it means that if you just started, uh, you just graduated from college and you're about to get your first credit card, well, you're gonna be pretty new in terms of your age in, in your credit history. So that's gonna have a weight, uh, but that's why it's also important to always preserve your credit lines open at the lowest cost. What, what do I mean by that? Some people say that if you're not using a credit card, you should just close it up. Well, that's not always great because if you open a credit card 10 years ago, you don't really use it, but it's there. That counts towards your average age. Um, so you shouldn't close that card. You should actually put it in a card where you have zero annual costs, but just keep it open because it's going to help you um, make that average age um, score higher. So let me go back. Payment history, 35%. Credit utilization is 30%. Now, 
average age is 15%. Okay, so what's the remaining 20%? The next one that is important are, it's gonna be the types of credit, and that's gonna be 10% of the weight, types of credit. And what it means is that the three credit bureaus are gonna look at whether you have a mortgage, an auto loan, a student loan, a credit card. So you have to have a variety of loans and, and that is gonna give you a higher score in the types of credit. And the last 10%, the last 10% of how the credit bureaus calculate your score, it's gonna be the credit inquiries. And that's also very important because we always forget, right? We're in the shopping center, we wanna buy um, some clothes and then the store clerk offers us to get a credit card and because you're gonna have zero interest for XYZ number of months and you go and open that credit card, well, that's probably a mistake because you probably already had another credit card. Once you open that credit card, the, the store has to run a credit inquiry on you and that is gonna count against uh, that last 10% of your credit score. So it's in important to know when somebody is gonna do a hard pull versus a soft pull, right? There's two types of inquiries. And you want to avoid at all costs the hard pulls unless you need to do one. Uh, for example, when you're gonna apply for a mortgage, they're gonna do a hard pull um, and you can't avoid that. So let's go back in order of importance. The first thing you need to understand is that the one that has the most weight it's gonna be your payment history. And payment history means that if you're late, if you're late 30 days, that's gonna have some sort of weight. If you're late 60 days, that's, how, that's gonna have more impact. If you're late 90 days, it's gonna be worse. So my recommendation is always to pay your credit cards in full before you get to the 30 days. If you cannot pay your credit card um, or you think you're gonna have trouble paying your credit card, just think about that purchase again a couple of times before you do it. Um, so number one, it's the payment history. Number two is the utilization rate. And as I mentioned, the utilization rate needs to be below 30%. So you need to keep it between zero and 30%. How can you, how can you improve that over time? So here's a trick, right, that I, I like to, to talk about. If you're just starting out and you get your first credit card, most likely you're gonna get a line of credit of $1,000 or $2,000 to start. Well, that's fine. You wanna pay, pay that credit card on time, all the time, for at least a year or two. Once you do that, you can call the credit card company and say, hey, I wanna increase my, my line of credit, and they might. They might increase it to $3,000, $4,000. And you wanna do that all the time, maybe every two years. Uh, until you maybe keep it at like 10,000 or even 15,000. If the credit card doesn't wanna give you a higher line of credit, then at that time, assuming you've been paying the credit card on time and you, everything else is in order, you can apply for a second credit card. And then you can play the same game with the two credit cards. Remember, when you're applying for a credit card, it needs to be a credit card that makes sense, either because it has high rewards or it because it has a no fee or very low annual fee. That's how you can increase your, your credit utilization rate. Um, next is the average age, that's 15%, and then the last two parts are gonna be the types of credit and the credit inquiries. These are, this is how it works, right? And you need to understand that in order to improve the, the credit history. Um, what I suggest is that you want to keep that credit um, report above 700. Um, even better if you can keep it above 800. Uh, but you want to make sure that you work towards improving that credit report all the time. Your credit, your credit um, report is a very important number. And, but hey, I want to hear about your experience. So if you have any questions or comments, please write down, type your questions, and we will try to respond here as much as possible. Now remember that we have a lot of videos on similar topics that you can watch on our YouTube channel or right here in the app. And remember that we also have a lot of money journeys here inside the app where you can explore how to improve your credit card. Um, thanks for watching. I, I, I wanna just make sure that you guys feel that, you know, thank you for watching. And uh, please remember that these videos are for educational purposes only. This is not financial advice. 
And remember that um, financial advices are only offered through clients through the app and that investment in and that investing involves risk.